a colossal object hundred times larger than 3i Atlas has crossed into our solar system. Its sheer scale dwarfs anything we've ever tracked from interstellar space, and its arrival raises some unsettling questions. Is this just a fragment of a forgotten cosmic event, or are we seeing a pattern forming with one space object after the other coming our way? And most importantly, are more of them coming? The universe is knocking on our door. The universe has a way of humbling us just when we think we understand our place in it. September 2025 brought one of those moments that makes scientists question everything they thought they knew about our cosmic neighborhood. A massive object appeared in our solar system, with characteristics so unusual that it forced astronomers to create entirely new categories for what they were observing. This visitor, designated C 2025 ER2 Swan, did not just break the rules for how comets behave, it shattered them completely. What makes this discovery extraordinary is not just Swan itself, but the timing of its arrival. Over the past eight years, our solar system has received a series of mysterious visitors that challenge our understanding of what natural objects should look like. Each one has been stranger than the last, and each one has pushed scientists further toward conclusions they never expected to consider. Swan represents the culmination of this pattern, an object so advanced in its apparent design that it forces us to confront possibilities we have spent decades avoiding. The story begins with detection systems that were never designed for this kind of discovery. The SOHO spacecraft, positioned at a gravitational balance point between Earth and the Sun, exists primarily to monitor solar weather and warn us of dangerous space storm. Its SWAN instrument tracks the solar wind as it flows past our planet, measuring the subtle changes that can affect our technology and climate. On September 11, 2025, this routine monitoring equipment detected something that should not have existed according to our current models of how the solar system works. The first sign something was wrong came from the brightness reading. The SWAN instrument monitors hydrogen atoms in space as they get hit by sunlight, creating a glow that follows predictable patterns. These patterns are like a steady heartbeat that scientists have tracked for decades. But on September 11th, that steady heartbeat suddenly exploded into something completely different. The readings spiked to levels thousands of times brighter than anything they had ever recorded. It was like watching a candle flame suddenly turn into a searchlight, anatomy of an impossible object. Swan defies classification in ways that have left researchers scrambling to develop new theoretical frameworks. Traditional comets follow predictable patterns based on the physics of ice sublimation and gravitational dynamics. As these icy bodies approach the sun, solar radiation heats their surface, creating clouds of water vapor and dust that form the characteristic tail we associate with these objects. The process is messy, irregular, and follows well-understood physical laws that have been confirmed through centuries of observation. SWAN operates under completely different principle. Instead of the chaotic outgassing typical of natural comets, it maintains a precisely controlled plasma envelope that extends across 2.5 degrees of sky. This plasma field is not a byproduct of heating ice, but appears to be an actively maintained electromagnetic barrier capable of deflecting solar radiation and charged particles. The energy requirements for sustaining such a field are staggering, equivalent to the power output generated during the collision of stellar mass black hole. Think about what this actually means. SWAN is surrounded by a controlled energy field that stretches across a piece of sky wider than five full moons lined up side by side. Most comets create tails that you need a telescope to see properly, but SWAN's energy field is so massive and bright that amateur astronomers can spot it with basic equipment. Even more incredible, this field is not random or chaotic like natural space phenomena. It maintains perfect stability across its entire span, which should be impossible according to everything we know about how energy behaves in space. The metals that make up SWAN are equally puzzling. When scientists analyzed the light coming from the object, they discovered it is made primarily of nickel and cobalt. These are not the materials you find 
in regular space rocks. Natural comets and asteroids contain mixtures of ice, rock, and various metals in rough proportions that tell us where they formed. Swan's composition looks more like something that was deliberately manufactured. The nickel and cobalt are pure and refined in ways that require advanced industrial processes, not the random mixing you get from natural formation. But the really mind-blowing part is how Swan moves. As it gets closer to the sun, instruments have caught it making tiny adjustments to its path. These are not random wobbles caused by melting ice or gravitational pull from other planets. They are precise course corrections that happen at exactly the right moments to keep Swan on a perfect trajectory toward the sun. It is like watching a car navigate through traffic, making small steering adjustments to stay in the right lane. Escalating pattern of anomalous arrival. Swan did not appear in isolation. It represents the latest and most sophisticated in a series of objects that have challenged our understanding of what should exist in interplanetary space. This pattern began with one I Umuamua in 2017, an object so unusual that it forced the International Astronomical Union to create an entirely new classification system for interstellar visitors. Umuamua's elongated shape, unusual acceleration, and lack of typical cometary features sparked years of debate about its true nature. The sequence continued with three I Atlas an object that exhibited even more dramatic departures from natural behavior. Unlike the subtle anomalies of 1i Oumuamua, 3i Atlas displayed characteristics that seemed almost deliberately designed to capture scientific attention. Its solid nickel construction, absence of iron content, and apparent nuclear power source created a profile unlike any natural space object ever observed. More significantly, 3i Atlas demonstrated controlled propulsion through precisely directed gas emissions that behaved more like spacecraft exhaust than natural outgassing. SWAN represents a quantum leap beyond both previous visitors in terms of apparent technological sophistication. Where 1i Oumuamua was mysterious but subtle, and 3i Atlas was unusual but still within the realm of theoretical natural phenomena, SWAN operates on scales that require us to consider technologies far beyond current human capabilities. Its plasma shield alone represents engineering principles that our most advanced laboratories can barely replicate on microscopic scale. Looking at these three objects together reveals something that should make us all uncomfortable. One I Oumuamua was roughly the size of a football field and weighed about 30,000 tons. Three I Atlas stretched for about a mile and weighed over 100 million tons. Swan spans nearly 10 miles across and could weigh more than 10 billion tons. Each visitor has been exponentially larger and more advanced than the last, like watching a progression from a scout drone to a reconnaissance aircraft to a battleship. The timing of their arrivals also follows a pattern that suggests coordination rather than coincidence. One I Oumuamua zipped through our solar system quickly, spending just a few months where we could observe it. 3i Atlas took a slower, more thorough path that allowed for detailed study over several months. SWAN is following an orbit that will keep it observable for the longest period yet, giving it maximum time to study our solar system and potentially interact with other objects or phenomena near the sun. Physics of impossible engineering. Understanding SWAN requires grappling with energy scales that challenge our current technological paradigms. The object's plasma envelope operates at power levels exceeding 10,000 gigawatts, roughly equivalent to the total electrical generating capacity of the entire United States. Maintaining such fields requires not just enormous energy production, but also sophisticated control systems capable of managing electromagnetic forces across vast distances. To put this in perspective, SWAN is generating more power than every nuclear reactor, coal plant, solar panel, and wind turbine in America combined. And it is doing this while traveling through the vacuum of space, maintaining perfect control over forces that would tear apart any structure we could build. The amount of energy contained in Swan's plasma field could power human civilization for years, yet it keeps this incredible power perfectly contained and controlled 
control across a space wider than our entire planet. The temperature differences Swan manages are equally impossible by our understanding of physics. The core of the object operates at temperatures over 100 million degrees, hotter than the center of most stars. Yet the outer areas maintain temperatures below 1,000 degrees, cool enough that you could theoretically approach them in a well-designed spacecraft. Creating this kind of temperature control requires materials and engineering techniques that do not exist in our current understanding of science. Think about trying to build something that could contain the heat of a star's core while keeping the outside cool enough to touch. Our best thermal insulation materials would vaporize instantly under these conditions. Whatever Swan is made of represents materials science so advanced that it might as well be magic compared to our current capabilities. Yet Swan maintains these impossible conditions while traveling at thousands of miles per hour through space. The computer systems that would be required to manage Swan's operations are equally beyond our current technology. The object makes course corrections in real time based on gravitational effects from planets millions of miles away, solar radiation pressure changes, and electromagnetic interference from space weather. Processing all this information and making precise adjustments requires computational power that exceeds anything humans have ever built. Convergence trajectories and timing analysis. The simultaneous appearance of multiple anomalous objects raises questions that extend beyond individual object characteristics. SWAN and 3I Atlas, despite originating from different galactic directions, will reach their closest solar approaches within days of each other in October 2025. This convergence represents a coincidence so improbable that it demands explanation through mechanisms beyond random chance. The math behind this convergence is staggering. SWAN and 3I Atlas started their journeys from completely different parts of the galaxy, yet they are arriving at our Sun within days of each other. The odds of this happening naturally are so small that you would need more zeros than fit on this page to write them down. It is like two people from opposite sides of the world, both deciding to meet at the same coffee shop at the exact same time without ever communicating with each other. What makes this timing even more suspicious is how precisely both objects have planned their approaches. SWAN will reach its closest point to the Sun at exactly 0.5 astronomical units, half the distance between Earth and the Sun. 3I Atlas will pass at 1.35 astronomical units. These are not random distances. They represent optimal positions for different types of solar observation and energy collection. SWAN gets close enough to gather high-energy particles and plasma directly from the solar atmosphere, while 3I Atlas maintains a safer distance perfect for long-term observation and data collection. The orbital planning required to achieve this precision suggests knowledge of our solar system that extends decades into the future. Both objects have adjusted their courses to account for the gravitational effects of Jupiter, Saturn, and the other major planets. They have timed their arrivals to take advantage of specific planetary alignments that optimize their approach angles. This level of planning requires detailed maps of our solar system and computational power to model complex gravitational interactions across vast distances and time periods. Even more disturbing is what happens during their closest approaches to the Sun. For several critical days in October 2025, both SWAN and 3I Atlas will be positioned directly behind the Sun from Earth's perspective. Every telescope and monitoring system on our planet will be unable to observe them during the most important part of their visit. This creates a perfect blind spot that prevents us from seeing what they do during their closest encounters with our star. The archaeological perspective. Swan's 286-year orbital period places its previous visit in the mid-18th century, a time frame that falls within recorded human history but predates systematic astronomical observation. This timing raises intriguing questions about whether previous appearances might have influenced historical events or technological developments in ways we have not previously recognized. The object's apparent artificial characteristics suggest that such influences, if they occurred, might have been deliberate rather than coincidental. The last time Swan visited our solar system, 
was around 1740, during the height of the Age of Enlightenment when human science and technology were advancing at unprecedented rates. This period saw revolutionary developments in mathematics, physics, and engineering that laid the foundations for the Industrial Revolution. Scientists like Benjamin Franklin were conducting their first experiments with electricity, while inventors were developing new manufacturing techniques that would transform human society. What makes this timing interesting is that many of the technological leaps of this period seemed to come out of nowhere. The steam engine, advanced metallurgy, and precision manufacturing techniques appeared without the gradual development you would expect from natural technological progress. While historians usually explain these advances through improved communication and education, the coincidence with Swan's orbital period suggests other possibilities. If Swan or similar objects have been visiting our solar system for thousands of years, they might have influenced human development in ways we have never considered. Ancient monuments like the Egyptian pyramids show engineering precision that seems impossible for their time period. The builders somehow moved massive stone blocks with perfect accuracy and aligned their structures with astronomical precision that required advanced mathematical knowledge. Similar unexplained technological capabilities appear in civilizations around the world, often separated by thousands of miles and hundreds of years. The 22,000-year cycle that some researchers associate with Swan's longer orbital variations coincides with major turning points in human civilization. The end of the last ice age, the development of agriculture, and the emergence of the first cities all occurred around times when Swan might have made previous visits. While these could be coincidences, the pattern suggests that periodic contact with advanced visitors might have provided the inspiration or assistance that allowed humans to make sudden leaps in capability. Electromagnetic signatures and detection challenges. Swan's electromagnetic profile presents detection challenges that highlight the limitations of current space monitoring systems. The object remained undetected until September 2025, despite its enormous size and energy output, primarily because it approached from the direction of the Sun, where observation is extremely difficult. This solar masking suggests either remarkable coincidence or deliberate use of our star as camouflage. During the approach fade. The way Swan stayed hidden until the last moment is actually terrifying when you think about it. Despite being larger than most cities and generating more power than entire countries, it managed to approach our solar system completely undetected. Our most sophisticated space monitoring systems, designed to spot asteroids and comets that might threaten Earth, completely missed an object that should have been visible from millions of miles away. SWAN generates radio signals stronger than the most powerful pulsars in our galaxy, yet these signals were masked by solar interference until the object was practically on top of us. It produces magnetic fields so powerful they should disrupt satellite communications and GPS systems, but the effects were subtle enough to be dismissed as normal space weather variations. The level of stealth technology required to hide something this large and energetic suggests capabilities far beyond anything humans have developed. If SWAN represents technology from an advanced civilization, similar objects could potentially approach Earth without detection using comparable masking techniques. Our current monitoring systems would require complete overhauls to identify artificially constructed objects that employ sophisticated stealth technologies. We might be completely blind to visitors that do not want to be seen. First 3 eye atlas, and now this? What do you think? Are we safe out here? Let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with all these mysterious visitors.